SBR Videos is sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. Hi, welcome to SBR Foreign Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. Uh, we are previewing week 15 in the NFL. Right now we are talking with returning guest Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com who uh, gave us a winner on the Thursday night game last week. That was the only game he covered, which brings him to 24-11 and 11 against the spread in the NFL with us this year. Very impressive record. Joe, thanks for being back with us. Thank you, Peter. And Monday night we won, so we squeezed out another winning week in the NFL with our premium plays. Awesome. That sounds great. So how did you do uh, overall at OffshoreInsiders.com this past week and also include uh, how, you are, how you're doing on the year? Yeah, no, knock on wood, we're really picking it up in basketball as we knew we would. We wanted to. We came out a little slowly. We didn't have as many plays because of the rule changes in college basketball. Mm -hmm. But as we follow this, we've hit 9 out of 13 in basketball. And we are ahead in college and pro football combined for the season going back to the preseason. All right, sounds great. Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. All right, Cincinnati uh, at Pitt is the game that you're going to take this week. I asked you to take this one. Pitt's a, a three-point home underdog. The total is 41 or 41 and a half, and that's uh, significantly up from its opening total of 40, which I admit I, I took a little bit on at 40, so I'm proud of that. Uh, Cincy, of course, you know, off the high-scoring win against Indy, Andy Dalton played uh, very well, and things are looking up for Cincy, although, as always, you never exactly know what you're going to get uh, with Andy Dalton on a week-to-week -week basis. Pitts off their high-scoring loss to Miami, and so they're basically uh, out of it. I don't think they're officially mathematically eliminated from the playoffs, but for all intents and purposes, their season is done. Uh, you know, I'm not exactly sure what I think about the spread. Pitt plus three. I think I'd still take the over at 41. What do you like here, Joe? Now, what we always say about Andy Dalton and this, you know, Marvin Lewis, too, they have been those predictably unpredictable Bengals under that administration. And what does that mean for those people who are maybe seeing one of my videos for the first time when a team that's predictably unpredictable, and certainly the Bengals are, if they're playing well and is a favorite, that's yeah. when you fade them. Or if they're playing poorly and as an underdog, that's when you go against them. Cincinnati, they are a hated rival of Pittsburgh. They can actually clinch a playoff berth this weekend. Now, they would need a little help. But believe me, the last thing the Steelers want is for the Bengals to be clinching a playoff berth in their house. I'm not the least bit worried about Pittsburgh's motivation. In mm -hmm. fact, they're going to be plenty motivated. And this is the circumstance that we've made plenty of money throughout the years going against the Bengals. Things are going great. Now they're a road favorite. And three-point road favorite pretty significant. Sure. They are going to come out flat, history says. Wow, so you're going to take up Pitt plus three. Hey, I can definitely see that. And maybe, you know, I feel like a lot of times when, when, when teams do have that, like, one loss that really puts their playoff hopes, either eliminates them mathematically or essentially eliminates them, uh, you mm -hmm. know, the very next game, maybe they do come back and play a little bit better than expected. Yeah, no, the pressure's off them. They play the spoiler role. You are correct. When a team is in a true spoiler role, especially at home and against a hated rival, that's when they become a, a good play. And the odds makers have over-adjusted because – the old theory about the team that needs it more, they know the public's going to be more inclined to bet Cincinnati because they do, in theory, need it more. But that's not really where the best bet is unless, you know, sometimes in week 16 that accounts for something because we do see that also runs kind of do mail it in in the final week right, of the year. Right. But no, not this early. All right. Sounds good to me. Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Like in Pittsburgh, plus three. Thanks, Joe.